Welcome back to Mental Math. Today, we've got another equation that appears totally harmless at first glance, but appearances can be deceiving. This problem has a beautiful trap built right into it, and I guarantee the solution will surprise you. Before we dive into solving this, let's be smart about it. With rational equations like this, we need to identify where things could go catastrophically wrong. We have this fraction here, and there's one golden rule with fractions. You can never, ever divide by zero. So the denominator must be non-zero. Looking at our denominator, x minus 5. For this fraction to be well-defined, this expression can't equal zero, which gives us a crucial restriction. So x cannot equal 5. That's our forbidden value. Whatever answer we get from our algebra, it better not be 5. Remember this restriction. It's going to be important. Now, let's look at that numerator. I have a feeling there's a nice pattern hiding in there. The numerator is x squared minus 25. This should ring a bell if you know your factoring patterns. 25 is 5 squared, so we have x squared minus 5 squared. This is a classic difference of squares pattern. So we can write this as x squared minus 5 squared, which is perfect for the difference of squares formula. The difference of squares pattern tells us that a squared minus b squared factors as the product of a minus b times a plus b. It's an incredibly useful factoring tool. Applying this pattern to our numerator, the numerator becomes x minus 5 times x plus 5. Now look at what happened. x minus 5 appears both in the numerator and the denominator. As long as x isn't 5, which we already established it can't be, we can cancel these terms. After canceling, we get this beautifully simple linear equation. x plus 5 equals 10. This linear equation is easy to solve. Let's find our candidate solution. To solve for x, we need to isolate it. Subtract 5 from both sides. So we get x equals 10 minus 5. And 10 minus 5 gives us x equals 5. But wait, do you see what just happened? Time to check our solution against that domain restriction we noted at the beginning. This is where the trap reveals itself. Our algebra gave us x equals 5. But our domain restriction says x cannot equal 5. We have a contradiction. The algebra gives us the one value we're forbidden to use. This is the elegance of the trap. The solution eliminates itself. If we try substituting 5 back into the original equation, we get 0 divided by 0, which is undefined. The equation literally breaks down. So despite the algebra giving us a clean answer, this equation has no solution. The apparent solution is actually an illusion. Let's visualize this mathematically beautiful paradox. Sometimes seeing the graph makes everything crystal clear. We're looking for where our rational function intersects, the horizontal line y equals 10. After simplification, our function becomes the line y equals x plus 5, shown in blue. The green line shows y equals 10. But here's the key insight. Because x can't equal 5, there's a hole in the blue line exactly where x equals 5. The function doesn't exist at that point. It looks like the lines should intersect at 5, 10, but that hole means there's no actual intersection. No intersection means no solution. The graph perfectly illustrates why this equation has no answer. The would-be solution point simply doesn't exist. Thanks for exploring this beautiful mathematical trap with me. If you enjoyed this type of problem, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more mind-bending math. See you in the next video.